the axillary nerve arises from C5 and C6. That means it arises from the posterior cord of the brachial plexus near the lower border of the subscapularis muscle. So this is the axillary nerve. It provides innervation to the shoulder joint. And in the axillary region, it divides into the anterior and the posterior branch. So this is the axillary region. And this is the anterior branch and this is the posterior branch. The anterior branch gives a branch to the deltoid. So this is the deltoid. And it innervates the skin to the lower half of the deltoid. And the posterior branch innervates the teres minor muscle and it forms a pseudoganglion. So this muscle is the teres minor and this is the pseudoganglion and this posterior branch also gives a branch to the deltoid and further it innervates as the upper lateral cutaneous branch. of the arm and it supplies to the skin of lower lateral part of the deltoid. So this is the medial aspect and this is the lateral aspect, the superior and inferior. Now let's learn about the axillary nerve in the horizontal section at the deltoid region. So this is the surgical neck of the humerus and this is the axillary nerve and this is the axillary artery. To know about the cords and branches of the axillary artery, you can click on the I button. So this is the anterior circumflex humeral artery, a branch of axillary artery. And this is the posterior circumflex humeral artery. And this is the axillary nerve that arises from the C5 and C6 of the posterior cord of the brachial plexus near the lower border of the subscapularis muscle. So these are the directions. So this is the posterior branch of the axillary nerve and this is the anterior branch. The axillary nerve after passing lower to the subscapularis, it runs backwards on the subscapularis to pass through the quadrangular space along with the posterior circumflex artery. So the axillary nerve comes as a content of the quadrangular space. After passing through the circumflex humeral artery, it gives an articular branch to the shoulder joint. So this is an articular branch. And then it runs and divides into the anterior and the posterior division that are deep to the deltoid. Coming to the posterior division, it supplies to the teres minor muscle. So this is the teres minor. and then to the posterior part of the deltoid. So this hole is the deltoid muscle. The posterior branch of the axillary nerve supplies the posterior part of the deltoid. 
This is the nerve to teres minor. And this is the nerve to posterior part of the deltoid. It then continues over the posterior border of deltoid as the upper lateral cutaneous nerve of the arm. which applies a skin over the lower half of the deltoid and the nerve to teres minor possesses a pseudoganglion so this is a pseudoganglion now coming to the anterior branch the anterior branch continues horizontally between the deltoid and surgical neck of the humerus with the posterior circumflex humeral artery and it supplies the deltoid and sends a few branches to innervate the overlying skin so it supplies the deltoid nerve to deltoid and these are the cutaneous branches now coming to the clinical correlation the axillary nerve is at a risk of damage in the inferior dislocation of the head of humerus from the shoulder joint and in fractures of the surgical neck of the humerus because of its close relation to the humerus so the injury to the axillary nerve can be by two ways inferior dislocation of the shoulder joint and in fractures of surgical neck of humerus so the damage to the axillary nerve can cause the clinical features like the impaired abduction of the shoulder that is due to the paralysis of the deltoid and the teres minor muscles loss of sensations over the lower half of the deltoid it is due to the involvement of the upper lateral cutaneous nerve of arm and the loss of sensation in this area is called as regimental badge area of sensory loss and the third clinical feature is the loss of shoulder contour with the prominence of greater tubercle of the humerus So this clinical feature is due to the wasting of the deltoid muscle. So guys this is all about the axillary nerve. If you like my video do subscribe to my channel.